So it turns out the shinobi actually stole all of her stuff. <laughs> the shinobi stole all of her stuff back here. Oh no. I understand that you want to journey with us. But you're the only one that has an eye to work the leather. And that is a skill you should be proud of, my friend. I want to help, Lapsus. I too am worried about our missing hiver friends. And you are helping. If you can craft better equipment to help us survive out there, you're doing your part. And after leaving the Mafia, you wanted honest living, didn't you? No more stealing and assassination. No need to hide from the police or expect a dagger in your back. You're not wrong there, Lapsus. I did want to make an honest living. But expect that I have to live by my blade to achieve it. Trust me, there's gonna be plenty of opportunities to find a good find. And don't worry, we'll be back in a blink of an eye. And so Lapsus and his team left Admac once again. They left out there to look for their tiny friends. Welcome back to Kenshi, everybody. Welcome back. We are once again on a journey, traveling around to see what the world can offer us. Well, we left uh, Hjord back at home to work on his armor smithing. You know, he's getting out there, but he still has a lot of work to do. We left him some food so he can feed himself, and we're going out there. The first clue these guys have, they knew that the Tiny Bug and Insanity, they went to the Black Desert City, so that is gonna have to be their first stop. Now, of course, a lot of these guys are not gonna feel too good going into the Acid Lands over there. Uh, without any good protection, but I'm sure they'll do just fine, you know, just to get to the Black Desert City. Now, of course, if the Black Desert City is not gonna offer us any answers, well, then they will have to go and look for Tiny Bug and Insanity somewhere else. Of course, we know that they have left for the Great Desert and that they've been selling their stuff and stealing their stuff there, but these guys don't know that, so... You know, they'll have to figure out how to find them. Also, we seem to have a battle out here. What's going on? Western Hive is fighting the Berserkers. Oh, let's go help the Western Hive. Oh, yes. I would like to get in, get here in time. Come on, you guys. Run around. Run faster. The Berserkers would be a worthwhile opponent if there's any left up still. Yep. There's some more left up. These guys are tough, but so are we. We have our ranger boys. Let's get them. Please don't all attack the same guy. There's there's multiple. Come on, spread out. I go after this one. I just you know just attack all. I think we might have a a party wiping coming over here. These guys are gonna be very tough to deal with. As long as our rangers can do well, we should be okay. Oh, I like this. Oh, no, the Western Hive are actually doing good. Never you mind then. Good job, my friends. Good job, okay. Looks like the Western Hive has, Hivers has done most of the job already. Now let's see. Exo, pop this guy. Overfitted blade, Shek Heavy Ilwun. I've never seen this one before. Shank Berserker Plate Exile. Uh, this thing does just have arm coverage and that's all. I like this, the way this looks. It's heavy weapon, 6 kilo heavy weapon. That is amazing for heavy weapon training. Because it's lightweight and you can give it to somebody to train that. I'll, I'll take it. I'll definitely take it. Let's see if there's a better version of it. Looks like these guys mostly have crap though some planks. I'm definitely taking that ill wound. I've, I've seen some of these before on the rest of the shack over here and we could take these. I mean you have high grade but this is definitely going to be better protection for you. Although the high grade over here is actually good blunt resistance but this is better. Yeah. How is this going to slow you? Down to 19. That's not the worst. That is not the worst. Well, we'll take it, and uh, we're definitely not gonna steal from the hivers, but we will take more. Take a look at more of these. Okay, that guy's gonna get up. You guys healed up. Just fix Exo, and then uh, then we should be good. And these high grade pants we can give maybe to Ace. 
give this to Ace. Ace can have high grade pants. And these ones we can maybe sell at some point. Okay. Good job, boys. Uh, that one's going down again. Uh, Hivers are not going to have too much fun in their lives anymore. But it's fine. I guess we... Oh, never mind. Let's go. We meet some skin spiders. Let's actually check how good we are against these guys. I want to see how well or how badly we do. Come on, get them all, boys. Attack them all. Not just one. Okay, they, they do sting. 60 damage, 50 there. But they are glass cannons, if you can get through them. It's good. That's why we we want good armor. You can see Laps is taking some damage uh, over there. Uh, a lot of it was blocked by the armor. I'm guessing these guys just have the claws. We don't want the claws. We don't care about the claws. It's fine. How's our toughness? 23, 31, 18, 29. We're still pretty bad on toughness. Yeah, still pretty bad, but yeah, that's okay. What happened to Rake? Bogger, did you shoot Rake in the leg? That's probably what happened. So, I should have checked this before. Last time I was trying to buy a place. Of course, this Raven, Raven Rock is for sale. I remember seeing this when I first came over here, that this was for sale. Oh man, I should have bought a place over here at Vein Spouse. It would have been so awesome if I did. Oh well. I didn't, so... Whatever. I'm gonna go just quickly check at the armor shop if they have anything good for us. And if not, we're just gonna continue onwards to glory from over here. You know, still a long way till Black Desert City. So, gotta keep on moving. Surely, all oh, right. Okay, everything is crap. Everything is crap. No, no, no. I'm stopped now. Uh, let's sell you these pants because we don't really need them. And onwards we go. Looks like really there is nothing for us here. Our sneaky boys are actually using this secure wooden chest now to store all of their equipment. We have a good stealing chance to get it back, so it should be fine. <laughs> Hopefully. Uh, but, you know, they just can't carry all the stuff anymore. So, let's take a look at uh, how the shop is going to operate again. It's 10 p.m., so they're already aimless. This is unlocked. Tiny bug, you just chill over here. Let's get Insanity to pop in here. This is definitely way less traffic than it is back at Hang. So, show me. So, there is... Gerald the Smith is still there. He's being a shopkeeper still. And Insanity is stuck. Because there's a... What? There's a table in here? Okay, he managed to get past it. I think that might be a problem. Oh uh, yeah, there's some floating stuff. I think, uh, I think this table has slightly moved. Alright, well that makes sense. I'm sorry boys, we're just gonna take a look in here. Okay, these guys are still guard, so we are in here quite early during the day, I guess. Haven't decided to go to sleep yet, and there is a ninja guard. Okay, inside is no longer committing crime, so that's good. Already known, already known, already known. Okay, but there's some high grade, specialist grade stuff. Oh man, I, I want that. Okay, this guy is just looking at insanity now. You know what? We'll, we'll, we'll leave for now. We'll come back at some other point. Uh, in the meantime, maybe we can go check the weapon shop, which is still open as well. At what point do you guys close? At 11? I think it might be at 11, which is now. So these guys might have to wait a bit longer. Let's see. We're going to send Tiny Bug in here just to see what they say. There's Skinner, the shopkeeper. Okay, he's still he's still trading. Hello, buddy. Let's trade. Yeah. Okay, Skinner will go out now, and you tell us when you're gonna close your shop. All right, it's past midnight now, and it looks like these guys are going to sleep. Oh, he just stood up again. Hey, get back to bed. Okay, more of them are going to bed. That's another shop guard. I hope Skinner is sleeping as well somewhere let's get insanity to break in here should be pretty easy for him there you go okay that guy is still walking hopefully going to bed yes all right let's pop in here insanity i'm guessing skinner is sleeping downstairs somewhere it's very bright in here 
that would be Skinner. Okay. Uh, let's take a look. What we're really interested in is any blueprints that we could... Oh, that's a 0% chance to unlock, huh? Ain't that unfortunate. Shop counter. Ronin greatswords. Hell yeah, we're taking that. We're learning that. You won't even know that we had it at any point. In here? That's a Ronin greatsword. Yeah. Okay, I, I like these Ronin greatswords, actually. They look cool. And they are an acceptable heavy weapon. You know, not too heavy. Uh, pole arms? Give me that. We get heavy pole arm, pole arm, katakama pole arm, and hunting spear. Oh, there's some cool ones that I don't even know what they are. I like it. Where's your safe? Where do you have your safe? Usually they have a safe. This one does not appear to have a safe. Just the weapon display. Hmm. Let's see how it is. Okay. You gotta be careful around here. We already know all these. We already know the Ronin talents. Let's go into the shadows over here. Already known that one. Let's open this one. Let's see what you've got. A lot of weapons. So it looks like most of the good stuff is in here. We'll take this katana. Because it's Mark 1, so better. What do you expect? Lots of katana 3. Mark 1 Naginata, we'll take that. Mark 1 Naginata, Mark. Was it 2 or 3? Mark 3 longsword. Okay, katans will leave. We're also gonna take this Mark 3 Ronin hatchet. Oh, yes. Because you guys have said that Rake should have that one. And you know what? Rake can get that one. I'm fine with this. Lockpicking is also going up, which is great. We can save this one for Rake, as we said. Uh, let's quickly take a look at these as well. Let's go like here in the shadows a bit more. Okay, this one's got nothing good. This one's got more good stuff. A Mark 1 Longsword, we'll take that one. Sure. And that's it. Alright, well, we're gonna be leaving this place, I think. Still have 0% chance in that one. Fair enough. Okay, no longer committing crime. I'm sorry, boys. We're going out. I'm gonna trade with Tiny Bug so he can carry all the stuff. Yo, Tiny, we got good shit for you, buddy. You can uh, dual wield your uh, Naginatas again. <laughs> good. Alright, so now we're just gonna pop in here and we're gonna take some of this armor from these guys. Although it does seem like all of them are downstairs right now, which could be slightly obnoxious. They have locked the doors again, but hey. It's surprising how there's no guards down here. Like, no guards at all. Compared to uh, what we saw at Hang, which was crazy. You know, down here, how many guards there were on the street. Alright, there's uh, these two guys right here. They're gonna spot us, most likely. Is this like Project Zomboid? Where you're trying to block the door so the Zeds can't get in? Something like that, isn't it? Alright, we're gonna not go in here tonight. These guys are just next to the door, so... We'll just uh, say we'll ha we're happy with what we've gotten. And uh, we're just gonna go back to the tower. Our Shek mercenaries are leaving the hub where they were been resting for the night to heal from their wounds after the scrapes with the starving bandits. They're still out there to find bounties and somehow get back to Tungsten's loss against Apollo. They still have that contract, they still have the bounty on Lapsus and his boys. So they'll have to figure it out somehow, but for now they just need to get stronger carrying their dogs and uh, moving through the wasteland trying to find something to fight somebody to beat up you know how it is and for now i think we're gonna maybe we're gonna send them towards what is high grade new pants huh maybe they'll send them towards uh veins pass maybe i can get them a piece of better equipment or something like that there although we've seen yesterday that uh, there wasn't much there when uh, the boys were visiting the main spots so we'll see how it's gonna be this time looks like there are some starving bandits out here once again we meet again my friends it's a scorched lander trying to fight us with his martial arts it's not gonna go well for you madra 
come down for a second. Let's see if he's got anything. Nah. There have been more running around over here. I don't know where they went, though. Oh, there's a whole group out there. Let's go get them, boys. Let's go get them. There's uh, two, four, six, seven of them. Could be dangerous fighting them all. Uh, on the... All just alone, but uh, let's uh, let's give it a try. Let's attack. Let's attack this guy for now. Just attack Sue. Hey Sue, get back here. That's not Sue. How about you? Are you Sue? He's not Sue. All right, let's go for this one, Madra. Shoot him in the face. That's actually some good damage. I do want to buy Madra a better crossbow. No, oh, Tungsten is still so slow with that weapon. It's 8 kilos, you have solid strength, you should be doing better, I guess your dexterity is lacking. 16, it's, it's kind of okay. Okay, Madra got another friend. Yeah, you go get that one, you guys go help out. I mean, I understand we're not getting a lot of uh, training. <laughs> Tungsten just got shot in the back by Madra, nice. Oh, that's better. That is better. Does these ones slow you down as well? Oh yeah, combat speed effect. 0 0.7. Oh, definitely then. Yeah, that makes sense. No, it's fine. I'm gonna still keep it just for uh, training purposes. It's fine. This guy actually took a beating. But he's, he's bleeding out now. So let's, let's find Madra. You gonna pull some more for us? Let's go get him, boys. Before Madra pulls them all. Just run in there. How many of them are there? Five? Let's do attack all. Let's go for all of them. Uh, yo, Tungsten, or Claw, come over here and uh, help out Madra. Madra is, you know, might need some help. There you go. That's my Claw. Bite them, buddy. I did see there's research for uh, dog armor. I don't know exactly how that works, but... I'm eager to see it in action. Okay, just attack them all, boys. Let's get them. There you go. There you go. Get them all. Perfect. Okay, Vision's fighting there. Tungsten is smacking them here. Tooth and Claw doing their thing. Nom nom. Nom nom. <laughs> Tooth and Claw are doing great. Who's down there? That looks like slavers. Yep, yeah, that's slavers. Fair enough. Vision's on the ground. You know, it shows. These guys only have heavy weapons, so uh, definitely not that very good when uh, faced with multiple opponents that can be faster than them. But once these guys get fast and strong, they'll be just destroying everything. Look, even Madra doesn't have targets anymore. Good job, boys. Good job. Yeah, little doggos are gonna be just fine. Let's see if Iron Heaven might have a better weapon for a Madra over here. Madra, talk to this guy. Oh, that's a Mark II specialist? <laughs> oh, that's a good weapon. That is a very good weapon. It does cost 18k, which is quite a lot. Uh, what's the skill needed? 80? I mean, her skill is what? 8. So that's almost there, right? I think for now, we're gonna buy her a Ranger. A ranger is a great way to level up and still do, do some damage, so I think a ranger is what we're gonna buy her. Should have bought this just for somebody else, but you know what, for now let's chill. And ranger does do some damage. It's short, sure, but still pretty solid. And we're gonna buy her a bunch of these bolts. There you go. Alright, well now we're making money, or well they are making money. But Madra does have a better better ranger now, a better weapon. I think that's gonna fit her better. Also, these guys are all carrying uh, some bandits just to level up our strength. Because they still need to. Let's quickly duck into this armor shop as well, just to see if there's anything for vision and tungsten. Hello, sir. Anything? There's nothing, is there? Uh, plated drifter's ladder. These guys have barbaric folds. Which is definitely not good for athletics, 100%, but yeah, I'm, I'm going to keep what we have, I think. Um, they fit them well. I really want to see how these full plate stuff looks, but 
not yet let's quickly dip into the armor store as well uh, weapon store just to see if we have an upgrade for these two guys you know a better Ronin sword or something like that what's going on down here hi stopping the lag who's fighting scavengers oh yeah we want to fight scavengers definitely want to fight scavengers but uh, I'm afraid that fighting them there might uh, make any of these guys mad at us all right so you got a mid-grade salvage plank which is crap absolutely crap we do have another rolling grade sword that we could give you that's a mark too that's 16 kilos it's of course 24k which would be a lot there's the anchor you guys wanted to see this one in action but it's too heavy to train with it we want something that's not very heavy to train your uh to train your skill so if we go with the Ronin Greatsword, the plank is just not giving you any bonuses. Like a refitted blade. Tungsten has an old refitted blade. I think both of these guys could have a, a Ronin Greatsword. It's not very heavy. We do have a Falling Sun. <laughs> 19 kilos, Tungsten. Not really there yet, but oh my god. You know what? Screw it, we're, buy we're buying this. I cannot not buy this one. Oh yeah, and Madra, can we get a better secondary for you? I like that. Maybe a Bakizashi of some sort. You know what? No, for now, just keep that one. You're not gonna, you're not gonna use it anyway. All right, Tungsten. This one's all yours, buddy. Now, this one's all yours, and let's give this to Vision. Yeah, Vision, you can have the Ronin Greatsword. It's gonna work better for you. And this plank, I guess we're gonna go sell it back. Hey, sorry, I forgot to sell you the plank. Now, that's gonna be a heavy sword for Tungsten. It's gonna be heavy for him to wield, him, wield it, but he's gonna he's gonna level up his strength. I believe in him. And he's gonna look cool with that one, 100%. Alright, let's see if these scavengers are still up. They're still up. Uh, they're not gonna be up for long. What is with this lag over here? Jesus. I think it's because all these guys are trying to do something at the same time yeah we're, we're going away from that <laughs> screw that thing yeah I'm kind of glad these guys didn't attack us <laughs> look at that we're just crossing the plains over here and there's just a random group of starving bandits like a million of them yeah let's, uh, let's not care about that <laughs> we're getting closer to the black desert city though so uh, that's that's good but I was thinking of maybe fighting something out here, but we cannot fight a group like that. Well, there's just way too many. You know, way too, way, way too many. We still have this old refitted blade with us. I'm gonna give that to somebody. I don't know who yet, but we need to train somebody else with heavy, heavy weapons, and that one would be perfect. Maybe I'll find a new recruit. Looks like these guys have ran into some uh, dust bandits. Well then. Uh, let me put all of these guys down. There you go. And let's move a bit closer to the city. Oh, it's... Where's the city? Hey. Oh, we are here. There's the city. Okay. Uh, hello, friends. Sure. Let's maybe fight you. Although there's quite a lot of you. You've been in a camp over here, huh? And there is more. There's slave traders there as well. Would be a shame if these guys got enslaved, wouldn't it? Claw go hit. Mm, let's, uh, let's fight you then, I guess. Madra, pull back a bit. This is gonna be bad. This is gonna be bad. They might try to uh, eat our dogs, which would be unfortunate. But I wasn't paying attention to what these guys were doing. As I was trying to get... Uh, my other boys off of acid rain, but as long as Madra is tanking a couple of these guys, we're, we're doing okay. Come on, Madra, you got this. Oh, claw is down. That's unfortunate. That is unfortunate. Okay, Madra, keep doing what you're doing. They do have a ranger as well, which is, who is probably better than her. Uh, let's... Tungsten, let's take this off for a second. Yeah, because... Uh, this is gonna make you uh, slightly better at fighting. He's taking a lot of damage. <laughs> Poor guy. Vision at least is doing one-on-one, -on -one, so 
That could be fine. Who of these is hurt more? Okay, that one. One more bolt and he's gonna bleed out. Ooh, are we getting gyro help? Okay, that one's down. Perfect. Tooth actually took a guy down. Beautiful. Good job, Tooth. Just need to get claw up. Alright, good job, Madra. Now Tungsten needs to have some help. Yeah, Tungsten. Get, a, get your block up, buddy. Just tank these guys. Okay. Now, switch back to fighting. Alright, Madra took that guy down as well. Tungsten with a good hit. Very good. So Claw is the only one going down. He's dying right now. But we can save him. Tooth took another one down. Tooth, you madman. Tooth is a madman today. Look at that. Okay, that one's down. So only one remains over here. Good job. Madra, don't please, please don't pull more. Oh, no, there's one more up here. Yeah, you guys get him. Uh, Tungsten, since you can't really walk, just help out Claw. Tooth's gonna get that one. Vision is running for him as well. These guys all got their legs broken. Tooth, just uh, dodge him and now chomp him. Oh, Madra shooting. Oh, he's trying to punch you. Don't let him punch you. How's Claw? Claw's all good. All right. Tungsten, get out there. Nice hit, Vision. Nice, nice, nice. These guys are gonna go down in no time. That's what you get for trying to fuck off with our Shack mercenaries. Let's freaking go. Good job. Uh, he's gonna be a recovery coma. That's unfortunate, but hey. Uh, Tooth is gonna go down if you don't fix him right now. Tooth, stay. Vision, heal. Good. Tungsten, heal yourself as well, as long as you can. Alright, Madra is at least fine. We're gonna need to have new health packs for these guys. 100%. Tungsten, there's a good chance one of these guys have a heal kit if you want it. Yeah, just, just limp over there. <laughs> Maybe not. Hey, any of you guys have heal kits? Any of you? No? Well, that's unfortunate. Okay, Madra, go fix him. So, it turns out the Shinobi actually stole all of our stuff. <laughs> the Shinobi stole all of our stuff back here. Oh, no. You bastards. <laughs> they took our shit. The Orb Mask is still here, though. So, that's good. But the rest of the stuff is gone. Yup. That was you, wasn't it? You stole our stuff, didn't you? Oh, you silly Billy. Interesting that they left the orb mask. But, hey, you know, I guess that's how it is. I mean, you trust the thieves, the thieves will get you. The thieves will get you. Well, the thieves have been got. The thieves got the thieves. Yeah, that makes sense? Maybe. So we're gonna go back in here and see if insanity can get some more good stuff out of it so uh, i'm sure he could <laughs> that was some high grade stuff that we lost unfortunately but you know it is it is how it is now anybody guarding today no or today we're safer close the doors behind you open that lock and they have high grade stuff again perfect Okay, these are already known, so we'll take the jackets, we'll take that, special is great, we'll take this, yes, that's also special is great, okay, and Ashigaru armor high grade as well, let's take that, for sure, thank you for all of your things, tiny bug, come over here and carry some of the stuff, we just need multiple backpacks to be honest. That's what we really need. Just steal more backpacks and fill them up with stuff. I think that's perfect. Uh, let's have you guys trade. Give these to Tiny Bug. And these to Tiny Bug. Alright. Tiny Bug, go back to the tower. Maybe we can maybe we can steal that thing. I don't know. Okay, let's close this behind again. That's shoddy and standard. Is there nobody downstairs? 
I don't see anybody downstairs this time around. How's our chance to knock them out? 58? That's probably not something we should play with. How about this chest? Okay, they definitely have a lot of armor over here. So, that is definitely good. Oh, so they have... Gerald the Smith does sleep over here. Yo, come over here. I want to see what kind of gear he's got. I'm disappointed. I thought it's gonna be better. I thought wrong. Sorry, Gerald Smith. It's a weapon cabinet. There's probably nothing there. What you got? Take that. That was something high grade. Single single angle hatch you got? Might as well. And samurai helmet and tabai boots. Samurai boots we're gonna ignore for now. We don't really want to use that anytime soon. At least until we can run better. Let's check what is in here. Oh, high grade stuff once again. <laughs> we cannot get all of this out. There's no way. Especially, I have a feeling that trying to carry all this out over encumbering insanity to the point of madness is gonna lower his stealth enough that he's gonna get spotted. Let's wait for a second so he doesn't commit crime anymore. Alright. Oh, we're playing with fire now. We're playing with fire now. I love the flare helmets. We'll take one of these. Ooh, specialist samurai. Nah. I said no to Samurai, didn't I? Probably can't open that. We actually could open the safe. He's so over-encumbered. He's gonna get spotted. Let's try it. He did it on his first try. You madman. I already wanted to go and get some tea while he opens this. But hell yeah. Samurai, Mercenary Blade, Ashigaru, Ashigaru Dark. That's Specialist. We know, now we talking, boys. Now we talking. Mm. I want this. The up. And I kind of want the iron hat as well. Let's see if we can uh, do the Tetris over here in such a way that we can do it. No, I don't think we can. Hmm. Who will I give this to? Yeah, we're, we're just gonna ignore it for now. Okay, good job, Insanity. Let's wait for your committing crime to go away. Check the shop counter as well, quickly. I agree, Divisored Helmet. Sure, you know what? Switch these around. And then he's gonna sneak out. Amazing how over-encumbered he is and he can still sneak out. That is kind of crazy. Hello, sir. How you doing? Nothing to see over here, just, uh, yeah, a full backpack of uh, solid gear. Asking around the bars of the Black Desert City, Tiny Bug and Insanity were nowhere to be seen. Skeletons there either didn't want to talk, or they had no idea. And mostly it seemed like they were just not interested. After almost giving up on their search, they finally found a skeleton that was willing to talk. Provided they take him with him as they go search further for Tiny Buck and Insanity. While Lapsus was skeptical, he agreed. They will take the man who only introduces himself as Steel with them. He can join their party, but he has to tell them where the two bugs are. I don't remember much of my past. Steel said, but I woke up near the Black Desert City not long ago and I spent my time at the bar just watching, learning and observing. And in that time I've seen two tiny bugs that were stealing things out here. They never got caught but I had my eye on them. But I think they decided to go towards the Great Desert and it's been a couple of days since then, and they've never returned, so my best guess would be they're somewhere out there. So, shall we go to the desert, my new friends? And so it was. A new member joined the squad. Welcome to the team, Steel. 
welcome, my friend. He is actually a very good character, and also a very cheap character. Now, he's better at katanas, he actually has a racial bonus for that, but I wanted to have another heavy weapon user, so I gave him that new Shack Heavy Ill Wound that we had, so he can train with that a bit more. Should be, should be pretty good for him. His strength, though, is severely lacking, so that's something we're gonna have to fix, and same with his dexterity. Well, his toughness is good, and his attack and defense. So, Steel has just joined us. Uh, later on, we're also gonna equip him with uh, heavier armor, the way that Steel wants to be equipped with but for now we don't have any of that so we're just gonna we're just gonna have to go with what we have and hope that it's gonna be okay and we've been just uh chilling over here in the black desert while uh, these guys were healing and we were using this repair bed as well so that worked well for us exo is now to back to full so he's gonna be able to do a lot for us now unfortunately we don't have any med kits for steel I don't really want to buy them right now. But uh, now that he said that he's gonna lead us out where potentially the two hivers are, well, we'll see uh, if you can maybe buy some more out there. And these guys don't have heal kits over here, just repair kits. And repair kits, we have a bunch back at home where Hurt is right now, so I'm feeling good about that one. Now we just need to make sure that these guys get out of the Black Desert City before. These four dudes uh, take too much damage, or these three dudes, Father Jack, Ace, and Apollo, they don't really have any protection. Like, Apollo is at zero protection, Ace has 10%, which is almost like zero, and Father Jack is at, I thought, yeah, he's got 30, so at least that's a bit better. The mercenaries were resting at the Shack City of Squin, and Madra decided to go see if they had anything for sale out in the city. Maybe some armor for the two big boys out there, or maybe a better weapon as well. So uh, let's go shopping. Madra, go check out uh, the armor shop over here. We need, right now, we need like better legs, leggings for these guys. Maybe a shirt or two as well. There's a lot of, of it is shoddy, right? So let's, uh, let's take a look out here. Hello, friendly shack. What you got? At least there's some... They actually have a lot of recipes. Maybe at some point we should steal that. Mm, I don't want to spend too much money. But buying maybe something like the armor rag skirt to have a standard grade one instead of that might be useful. Oh man, there's... All these are shoddy grade, aren't they? Unholy pants. These are solid protection. Athletics are lowered, yes. I've never actually used these ones. Let's take one of these. Madra. Buy unholy pants. And buy one of the armored rag skirts. At least that way these guys have better leg protection. Let's just let her vest. These vests are... I don't know if they're that amazing. I mean, they don't have much coverage. Well, these ones, even though they're shoddy, at least have a lot more coverage, so... Maybe we'll keep with that. The guys in the streets sometimes have shirts, so maybe you can get a better shirt on them. Hello, sir. You know, the turtlenecks are good. If it was a standard grade, I'll take it, but I guess it's not. We'll also take some of your food. Uh, you know what? A better Rattan hat for you. There you go. Alright. Well, I think the mercenaries might be running out of money by now. Because, uh, you know, they haven't finished their j last job, last assignment. So they, they might have some issues over here. <laughs> I don't know. Just maybe. Let's go give them better gear. I guess Vision can have the unholy pants. And Tungsten can have the armor rack skirt. These are solid, but actually the athletics in these are even worse. Damn. Alright, Vision, show me how this looks. Kind of weird. Kind of weird. The coverage is... Well, it actually has some stomach coverage. So that's not so bad. Alright, let's go back to bed with you. And Madra can sell these barbaric folds. That I do like the way they look, but, you know, they do slow you down pretty, pretty severely. 
Lapsus and his team stopped at the Great Desert Way Station. Again, Lapsus tried to find out more if Tiny Bug and Insanity were here at some point, and while the barkeep could confirm that they have been here, they also said that it's been quite a long while since they showed up. So again, Lapsus had no real leads besides that they went deeper into the Great Desert, so the search had to continue. Here it has been busy working on the ladder crafting bench, trying to figure out how best to combine the tough big thing ladder with beaten iron plate, to provide protection versus sharp swords and environment alike. His concentration was broken when a loud knock on the door sounded through the iron manor. Before he could even make it a couple of steps the door opened, and in strode Vision with his shack companions and dogs in tow. Nice little hideout you've got here. What are you doing here? I'll call for the police if you don't leave. No, you won't. Tungsten, grab him. You're coming with us, boy.